Britney Spears set to break her silence for the first time in her long-standing legal battle against her father in her conservatorship case. I'm Elizabeth Wagmeister at the Los Angeles Superior Courthouse, and we are just about to go talk to a lot of the Free Britney fans who are here to support the pop star. We are here today outside of the Stanley Moss Courthouse because a grave injustice has been done that needs to be corrected. I hope to hear that, you know, as fans, we, we're right that the conservatorship is limiting her civil liberties, and I hope to hear that um, she's going to get out of it soon. That's what I really hope to hear today. I would consider myself a very big Britney advocate, a very big Britney supporter, and an advocate of conservatorship reform. You know, we are out here today because Britney Spears, for the past 13 years, has not been allowed her own voice. And as the New York Times recently discovered, apparently she had been having her own voice that was completely subdued. Um, but what, why, the reason why we're out here is because the people around Britney have not always had her best interests. The people who've been consistent in her life are her supporters, are the people who are backing her up, are the people who have questioned these court documents. People have read these court documents, people who have really dived in, people who have educated themselves on this movement on the act of conservatorship abuse. And to be honest, it's hard to get people this informed, but this group of people is the most informed movement I've ever been a part of. I'm so proud of the Free Britney movement and, you know, what we've accomplished. You know, we want to, you know, nothing's going to change about this corrupt conservatorship without public outrage. And so that's why it's important for all of us to gather here and make some noise and spread awareness. It's unfair, honestly. What she's going through, it's really so sad and I'm gonna do whatever I can to help her. I'm from Los Angeles and I'm just here to you know I'm thankful that Brittany is shedding some light on the issue of probate reform. I'm having my own issues here with the same court, the same judges and it's very oppressive. Spears went into detail and said that she was forced to go on her tour in 2018 and she was forced to change her medication. A direct quote, she said, not only did my family not do a goddamn thing, my dad was all for it. What do you make of Britney's statement that she just made? It was obviously the most public statement that she has made. She said that she wants the conservatorship to end. She called it abusive. She called out her father. She really held nothing back when speaking her truth. What do you make of that? I am so proud of Britney Spears today. Um, like she said, she has been abused. She likened her situation to sex trafficking. Um, she has been traumatized. She has been forced into medical facilities and medical procedures against her will, without her consent, and has had her children held over her head. If you want to see your kids, then you have to sort of do what we say. You have to do this certain dance move. Speaking to the judge, Spears says that she has been lying to the world all along. She thought that she could convince herself, but really she has been depressed. She said, quote, I've told the world I'm happy and I'm okay. I'm traumatized. I'm not happy. I can't sleep. It's my wish and my dream for this to end, Spears said. In her most public statement to date, pop star Britney Spears has addressed the court regarding the conservatorship that she's been under for nearly 13 years. In an emotional statement to the judge, Spears did not just ask to remove her father, Jamie Spears, from her conservatorship, but she asked to end it altogether. I'm Elizabeth Wagmeister outside of the Los Angeles Superior Courthouse.